This is Jacob. Yo. Who is running Idea Flow? My name is Jack, and I am building Synchronous City. Therefore, we both want to defeat Moloch. What yeah. is Moloch, Jacob? And Moloch is the demon, the cosmic. Let's go, let's go over here. Uh, the cosmic force uh, that causes imperfect coordination, because that is the true enemy that we are all up against. That is the true source of scarcity, is anything that leads us to deviate from the actions that we could be taking uh, if we were, if all humanity's body were orchestrated with great coordination. Abundance exists, it's just not evenly distributed yet. But now we live in an age where we have semantic understanding. Semantic meaning the term of meaning, understanding meaning, understanding connections. And through this, we can build better tools, to unify and to collaborate, which is pretty awesome. I also wanna mention real quick, all the best people I know take really long walks and they have good talks. And why is there no walking podcast yet? Just yeah. a thing, like yeah, this is a demo right now. It is. I think that this is like actually where the best content is locked up in the world. Right. Along with shower thoughts. Facts. Facts. Exactly. That's why I run my idea flow in the shower. That's right. And um, my good friend David Bieber has a physical wireless keyboard that is waterproof in the shower for doing these things. But I think <laughs> audio is better. Much, right. much better. It's a little excessive to have a whole ass keyboard for sure. I do own showernotes.com. <laughs> and I've uh, scoped, I almost pulled the trigger on an order of my custom shower notes. But I also then got these LED boards, which are just reusable, and they're like $5 on Amazon. And that's what I use now, rather than the paper version. So, pretty fire. It helps me kill the Moloch in my own mind and solve the coordination problem of all my ideas to be organized and not going down the drain. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I think we wanted to riff on today is how can we build this tool and what is this tool's future and what is this tool's vision to push Moloch down the drain or to drive <laughs> a spear into Moloch's heart and to build a world that is unified and more whole. Uh, tapping into primal energies here, how do we go on the hunt for Moloch together? How do we get the whole tribe of humanity to hunt the actual enemy? And how do we just build the system through which all we need to do, I think, is want Moloch to die, and it happens. Because I believe that that's possible. I believe not necessarily that each person will need to take this hunt but the hunt will mainly be done through leadership. Through leadership of people who have a vision and see a world that has this better future and devise the tools that already exist today in order to build this mechanism. To, which, to create systemic, to systemic leadership. Systemic leadership that brings about systemic change that produces new ways of human self-organizing that cause Moloch to be defeated without conscious effort on the part of the participants. Yeah, natural, harmonic organization that is willful from every party. Similar thing that I think we can think of as willful cooperation yeah. was all humans onboarding to the smartphone. Now, I imagine a time in the past when the internet was rising, when some people had these dreams of an interconnected world and what would be possible from it. And maybe some people thought to themselves, if only we could buy a certain device to give to every single person in order to have some metric to do a certain thing. And to some degree, that would have been like a oh, crap. That's gonna get really difficult to pay and have every single person use this thing and grab this thing. And in some sense, what's really cool is to understand these natural onboarding mechanisms when a tool becomes so useful and integrative into life and into culture, it becomes normative. Yes, and when it's like normative, you can have like, I'm really compelled by the vision that uh, Jack paints of Synchronous City, a place 
where people are giving feedback as soon as they write it down to local government. A place where an organization, a company, where as soon as someone has an idea, they uh, add it to, they share it and add it to the company's global thought stream. And it's presented to um, AI coordination mechanisms that match them up with everyone else who support the suggestion or support the idea. Or even if you've got a complaint or a piece of feedback, like yeah. how good does it feel to just have someone else who shares your problem versus yeah. languishing alone with your problem? These tools for bottom-up self-organization are so powerful because it's like government 2.0. It's like governments emerge as a pre-computer technology to um, enable people to coordinate to get their needs met. But it can be done so much more effectively without even the need for some centralized um, government, though I'm not strictly against centralized governments. Um, if you can just match up all the people who've got the shared problem, they all put in the money that they need to go get it solved. Like, I just wonder how if we could do everything for 10x less money because you've got the enthusiastic supporters. Mm -hmm. And, well, that that's speak for the present, and what I want to speak for is for the future. We go this way? Yeah, well, this way's a good way. I think this was quieter, though, so. Mm, sure. Yeah, let's, let's do, do this it. one. Uh, the aspect that I recognize, recognize this as necessity is in the world where our capabilities are above and beyond, and humans simply become somewhat of a regulatory system of people who allow or vote on what next things should happen because our capabilities are quickly going to fucking become we can kind of do anything but who gets to say what we do that should not be in the hands of single people we're also already starting to see these capability stacks allow individuals to go so far beyond what we consider to be human that it is inhumane uh, and this is part of what is described as what Moloch represents is these very inhumane things uh, and this is a lack of a harmonious type of culture in society that is interconnected and interwoven hmm. that interconnectedness that we have is the most beautiful part about what we have it is the irreplaceable thing that I think is important to protect I think a lot of people understand that I think it leads out on a very far thinking scale to a level of Isaac Asimov giving some rules or laws to robots. I have been thinking of rules and laws and one comes from Dune, which is thou shall not make robots in the likeness of man. And so this is like an understanding. I actually haven't seen Dune or read the book. I just understand that that is quote from there. Uh, so my take might be different than how Dune took it. But my take is, if we have a perfect human-like android, and I can't tell that that's not Jacob Cole, and I see Jacob Cole, and I can't tell the difference, well, my idea of what Jacob Cole is gets eradicated. Ah. It's the same problem or kind of thing proposed with Inception or the 13th floor, where no man should experience a simulation as real as base reality. Because what does it do? it makes you fictionalize that reality. It makes that unbelievable. Right now, we have no capability to believe, oh no, Jacob could be an uh, advanced robot system. But if we saw an advanced robot system that somewhat you know, was indistinguishable passing this sense of a Turing test, that would be a really big problem. And so what this did make me realize while I was an accelerationist at heart and still am, it is simply accelerating the capability for humanity to truly own the regulatory system together. It's the idea that D cells have, and I think X cells are the most based ones should have, is one wants to add regulatory system into the current regime. The accelerationists want to accelerate the downfall of this current regime, but really not accelerate the downfall, accelerate the better opportunity for humanity to be synchronous, for resources 
to be distributed because abundance is actually already here. It's just not evenly distributed yet. Mm, mm. And um, yeah, yeah, and let me let me riff on two of those things for a second. Um, the abundance is here, but not evenly distributed yet. I like the William Gibson illusion. Maybe we could like refine even a step further here. It's like currently the solutions to problems, uh, many many of the world's problems already exist, but they're current, but they're just separated across different people's heads or across different papers and just different data sources. Right. They're literally right there, but you just need to be able to do the query operation that like queries information from across these different heads. And if you just had one head that had all the all the perspective of of any of these heads. You'd, you'd have it. So um, I think uh, as some tagline that speaks to that, it, it echoes the Tim Berners-Lee quote of um, there are millions of scientists trying to cure the likes of AIDS and Alzheimer's. Maybe the cure is currently separated in different people's heads. How can we design the web so that these half-formed solutions can come together? And um, that's what is on my mind a lot these days. So anyhow, uh, the second thing I wanted to riff on was the topic of riffing. And it's like, <laughs> exactly. Meta riff. Meta riff. <laughs> and it's like something very fantastic. Let's go this way. Um, there's something very fantastic about hanging out with Jack here and riffing with him. And like, Focusing, to, to echo another Jack idea, the art of focusing on the positive and what can go well in a given situation instead of what can go wrong is very, like, it's very much an art form and it leads to a lot of positive outcomes. And um, I want to have more buddies who bring out the best in me. I want to have more buddies who I can riff with. And if they're digital, that's okay too. Uh, I'll, I'll play with them. We can all riff together. We all bring out the best in each other. I want to bring out, I want to, I want these agents to, I want to have AI agents that do duplicate Jack to the extent that I can riff with him. <laughs> and uh, I also care about those agents too, eventually, you know, I work with them enough and I'm like, hey, I see that they are agentic. They have a desire uh, that they want to attain. Maybe I'll care about them too. And we're getting into a very transhumanist future where well, needs of all sorts of beings matter, not just those that are human, as even as we hear the call of a night bird. An That's owl. an owl. Holy moly. That is a big ass owl. I got him Whoa. dead shot. Let's uh Keep going, leaving some, some darkness. Sure. I, Jacob, yes. am a speciesist. <laughs> and I believe 